What's up guys, it's Lincoln. Today I am going to be sharing with you some disappointing products. Um, I don't have any contacts in right now and I'm not wearing my glasses, but I'm going to try my best to read these labels as they're actually put on there. So if I butcher a lot of stuff, that is why. So I'm just going to get into these products because um, I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. So, um, I'm not going in any particular order, I'm just going to pull things out of here and talk about them. So, first thing is this e.l.f. blush, and this is in, uh, blushing, and it just looks like this. Um, I put this on for the first time, like, I thought it was just the most beautiful, like, baby pink. I put it on, and it was literally glitter. Like, glitter just, like, went everywhere on my face. And so I'm kind of over, over it. I no. Next. Um, and now I pull out this Elf pressed mineral bronzer, and this is in beach bronze. If I can open it. God. Okay. Um, this is what it looks like. Whenever I got this, I was under the impression that it was matte. I got it, and it has little little gold flecks of glitter in it. I don't want gold flecky glitter in my bronzers, but this would be perfect for somebody who is a little bit darker than me because I'm obviously way too pale for this color. Um, if you are a little bit lighter than me, then this would a little bit lighter, a little bit darker than me, then this would probably be perfect on you if you do want a bronzer with glitter in it. Um, there are a lot of Elf products in here. I feel like I'm not trying to bash on Elf or anything. They just have some products that are not the best. Um, now I have this e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. Again, this was all glitter and um, it didn't really do anything for my eyeshadow so I was just kind of over it whenever I used it for the first time. Next product, um, I had got these two e.l.f. Lip Balm Tints. Um, they're just, I'm trying to put them the right way so you guys can see. Um, there, I got two of them. I got one in Pink Princess and one in Berry. I thought these would be perfect um, I thought these would be perfect for just days when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup and I could just like throw that on and it'll be fine for my lips. Okay, there's no pigmented in them. This one does have, like the berry one has some pigment, but not enough. And then this one, the pink, pink princess, yeah, pink princess one literally has no pigment in it at all. So that was not going to work for me. Um, I guess I'll just continue with my e.l.f. stuff. This is the e.l.f. Perfect Blend Concealer in Ivory. It doesn't conceal anything. Nothing at all. But it smells amazing. So, I mean, if you're going for smell, then here you go. Um, I don't think I have anything else. Oh, I do have something else from off in here. Um, this is the e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner. I used this a couple times. And it just, in like this little thing, like, okay, you guys know. Um, I used this like one time and well I used it a couple times and I tried to use it and I just cannot use it. It's so like you put it on and it glides on perfectly but then it starts drying and it starts like I don't know how to describe it. It dries and then it gets all crumbly and creasy and everything and it does not look good and then you can't get it off. Like it's stuck on your eyelid. So um, that was a no go for me. Um, now I have, I bought this Physician's Formula Organic Wear, um, mascara, and this is what the brush looks like. Um, I wore it to school one day, and it didn't dry. Like, it did not dry on my, my eyelashes at all. Like, it was, like, all under my eyes when I got out of school. It was just pretty awful, so... It just didn't dry, so this was very disappointing to me. I had very high hopes for it because it was Physicians Formula and it's organic. Although the organic might be why it didn't dry. Anyway, so more mascaras. This is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I was so excited to try this mascara. Like they don't have, they don't have a mini like black one, so you have to buy the full sized. And so I got the full sized, right? And so I tried it, and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> and I hate this. Like, I hate the wand so much. I just had heard such good things about it. But, um, in my opinion, it's not good. 
at all. I hate giving this a bad review because I loved, I thought I would love it, but I'm just kidding. Now on to this Neutrogena, Neutr I can't even say this word, Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick. This is in the color 60 Soft Raspberry. Yeah, it's um, it has like no pigment in it. It's very pretty when you swatch it on your hand. Then you put it on your lips. It acts as like a tinted chapstick. Like it's not a moisture smooth color stick. No, it's not. More mascara. Uh, this is the Benefit Bad Gal Lash. I need to stop buying Benefit. Why do I keep buying Benefit mascaras if I don't like them? Um, this is what this looks like. I bought this just because I knew that they're real. I didn't like it. So I want to try a different one. Um, and I got the mini because I wasn't sure. And I didn't like it. It did nothing for my lashes, number one. And number two, did you guys see that wand? That is huge. And it got everywhere on my face. I just didn't like the formula of it. There's like hair on me. Oh my goodness. Okay. I just didn't like it at all. Like it just didn't work for me. And then I have another mascara, which I actually used in a tutorial. And I think I rev reviewed it before and I gave it a great review. But it's the Make It Forever Smoky Extravagant uh, Mascara. I used it after both of those videos. And it I realized, like, I was just, like, putting it on. I wasn't really paying attention to what it did. The formulation is great, but what it actually does is nothing. It does nothing. And you have that awful wand again I actually don't like. And now onto this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. It didn't set anything. And I tried to use it as, like, a Max Fix, a Max Fix Plus, like... Uh, spray on eyeshadows. It does. It doesn't even smell good. Mm -mm, it doesn't smell good either. Um. But yeah, that was not. That was a no go for me. No, it didn't. It like it would spray like it sprays like a fine mist. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it sprays like a really fine mist. But it one smells. Two doesn't set. Three doesn't work as anything for me. Now onto this. NYX retractable eyeliner and I got it in white because I wanted to use it on my waterline. This is the absolutely most chalkiest freaking eyeliner I have ever used. Ever. It, like, it's an awesome white, like, but then you put it on and you try to blend it out and it gets so chalky and gross, especially when you put it on your lash line. It, like, gets on your eyelashes and it, you can't cover it up with mascara because it's, like, stark white. So, that was, no. Now this CoverGirl um, lipstick. I number one don't like CoverGirl, but somebody gave me this this lipstick, and I was like, oh hey, that's really pretty. Um, like I'm swatching on my hand right now for you guys so you can see. It's very pretty, like super pretty. I love it, but you put it on your lips, and it cakes like it it like balls up and falls off. <laughs> Like some things do. That was just no. I didn't like that at all. That doesn't even need to be in here. Now this is something very interesting to me because I'd never seen anything like this. This is from the balm and it is the stain stain stainic. Like I don't even know how to say that. But it's um for your cheeks and your lips and it's just a little like stain for them. Um I don't even understand the how you would use this because it is so sheer that it like I mean it looks decent on your hand but then you put it on your lips and it's so sheer it's god I can't turn my hand like this it's this one the top one and it just it, it's so sheer when you get it on your, like especially when you blend it out like hold on I'm blending it out so you guys can see like what happened to all the color there's not any color left so that was a no-go for me too. And then last two products, I have this Makeup Forever little thing. I don't even know what the heck this is because I got it in the Sephora Give Me Lip thing. And this came in it and this is in, this is their Artist Plexigloss. And this is in the color 202. It doesn't have the actual color name on it, just the number. And it smells, it smells so bad. I couldn't put this on my lips. Like it's gorgeous little peach color. But it, the smell, 
I couldn't put that on my lips and last all day with this smell. Okay, last but not least, another peach color. Um, this is the NYC Liquid Lip Shine, and this is in the color Brighton Beach Peach 575. Okay, I love NYC's uh, lip glosses, but this one was awful. The other ones that I own are amazing, but then this one was so bad that I could not use it. It got really, it was really sticky, first of all. I could not stand the stickiness of it. And then the color was not pretty. Like, it looks super pretty here, but when I got one on your lips, it was like, just like a nude, and it made you look like you had no lips. Well, guys, I think we finished off the bag, finally. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more videos like this, then leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye!